Cutting struts in your infinite socket is designed to be very, very simple, and here's how you do it. Once you've determined how much of the strut you need to shorten, and let's say for demo purposes about a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, once we've got one of them marked, we want to mark all four the same amount, okay? Because as you remember from your training, all four need to be reduced the same amount of height. So we're going to quickly go through and mark all four. And once we've got them set up, all we're going to need is a vise and a cast saw to do the trick. The way I recommend it is to place the trash end into your vise. I recommend using a cast saw. Um, trying to take this to a bandsaw can be unsafe. Once it's been placed in the vise, you've got plenty of clearance to go ahead and hit it with a cast saw. So you can see that with a nice new fresh cast saw blade, it cuts through the strut material really effectively, really quickly. What you'll notice though is that the edges are quite sharp. So after you've gone through and cut all four struts, we need to go into the machine room and bevel and, uh, and polish up these edges and we'll be all set. Now that we've left the machine room and we've buffed and beveled our strut, we want to pay attention to two things. We want to make sure that all four struts, one, is cut straight across. In other words, it's perpendicular to the long axis. We don't want this to be on any sort of an angle. And number two is you want to make sure that you don't have any sharp corners or edges on each one of your strut tops. The reason is if you have a sharp corner and edge, it'll dig into and wear down the internal surface of the brim and it'll really shorten the life. So in order to extend the life of your brim, you want to make sure it's nice and round and nice and smooth. 